m- if someone maybe, told me I don't eat onions because it makes me smell bad, yeah, like, like you okay, sweat. garlic and onion. Yeah, when you're cooking it, it, smells awesome. It's like yeah. somebody walks in the house, yes. like, ooh, what's 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 cooking? True. Mm-hmm. But as True. soon as you eat it, what it smells bad? Fuck you. Welcome back to another episode of the Fish Tank Podcast. Today it is just us three, What's which up? is you know great. Shitty. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a way to start off a podcast, I think. What's wrong? What's what's wrong, Louis? I like the other people. Okay. Yeah, they're cool, but I mean, it's the three of us from the beginning, you know. It's cool to expand your horizons. Mainly this guy. Okay. It is cool to expand your horizons and just people that you get to know, because then you get to see other insights on how people view the world. Yeah, Louis already thinks he has me completely are. figured out. I do. That's what it is. That's what I think it is. He's just sick and tired of having me just talk to him about the same stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say, though, guys, setting this all up, getting everything together, so stressful, but at the end of the recording episodes, <laughs> so fulfilling. Is it really? It is, yes. Like, putting everything together, sending all the, like, seven files of audio and video to the editor, I'm just like, oh, I can't Thank wait. God I don't have to Now do that it's anymore. not on my plate anymore. And now- you know what's great is that, like, we'll, you'll never have to set this up again. We'll have this forever. Oh, yeah. Like, for years. We can just fucking yeah, I bang to, these bad yeah. boys out. The only thing that we'd have to, like, add to this setup is... Maybe like some soundproof, yeah. And like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, which is, uh, I, guys, send us fan art, right? We need to. Well, I would need to open a PO box first. We should definitely do that. Yeah, that'll be great. We should do a PO box and then uh, have fan art, like, and we'll just plaster it on the fucking wall. Yeah, that's what that's what we want to do. Draw so whatever cool. you want, so long as it's safe for work. I will forcibly place it upon these walls. Fish cannot stop me. This might <laughs> I be love, his room. I, no, I, I, I love fan art. It. It's awesome. I have a whole slideshow at the beginning of every one of my streams that has fan art. It's true. Fan art is really the lifeblood of just about anyone. It lets you know that you're doing an amazing job. That's sort of <laughs> what it is. Because people are just like, I love that moment or this person so much, I will take time to draw just one picture of them as a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you, have, you had like a cat fan art contest, right? Oh, yeah, way back. I Called loved Nyan the ones that, that was they made funny. of me. They, yep. they made me like cash, cashmere cat. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Many, the, the many Cheshire times. Cat. Or Cat Cheshire. 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 Cheshire Cat, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had one that I still have as one of my um, sub buttons for on Twitch, where it's just a, me in a, in a black hat, but, you know, facing forward, and, like, uh, my, uh, what's it called? The, red uh, flannel. Yeah, the red flannel. And it's, it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic drawing. I really love it very much. We had so many, com- we had so many submissions for that, too. I was really blown away by it. But uh, that was a really fun time. I really enjoyed it. Fan art is amazing. Even like for people that I don't know, seeing fan art of them is fantastic. I think I saw one of like Corpse Husband where he was like the lo fi study girl yeah. or whatever. I thought that one was pretty great. That was hilarious. What was it like animated? Yeah, it has a little nod and everything oh, too. Yes. It's like the whole the whole shebang, man. One of my favorite fan arts was uh when I when I did the the rap battles, remember how I made like an MS paint like <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, and you and then, put my you put my podium so far down. You're short. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and somebody made like a little chibi chibi version of me, like sitting at the the little DJ booth with like the same shirt that I had on. It was so fucking cute. It was so cute. I loved one where it was um they reenacted scenes from the Minecraft courthouse that we did. Oh yes, I don't know if I've like, seen that. That sounds amazing. Yeah, no, they took like little little clips and I've they... never prepared for a video more. Yes, like <laughs> I, 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 I looked up some of the things that like a judge says in the middle of court and how to like deal with certain situations and when someone's trying to interrupt somebody else. I did research on that and that yeah, the things I researched amazing. to I, blow up that courtroom. I got to tell you, I was on a list for a while. I'm that's sure. what. <laughs> Let's, can we get into that for a second, dude? Yes. So okay, so that that the the fish SMP, right? That's what we called it, or what do we call it? This the, is a Minecraft uh, server that we day. owned. Yeah, yeah. This is way back in the day, and we did it on stream. And the whole idea was that you had to be on stream to be playing on the server. Yes. Yeah. And people, like our friends, had a lot of fucking issues with that. It doesn't matter. But that video, the the courthouse video, that was like, that's what I wanted for it. I wanted oh, yeah. like every week to have something like that of yes. that substance. And then just people were like worried about like they were building houses like 5,000 blocks away. It's like that's not the point of like what we're doing. Like people wanted to just play, play Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah. I, could, I couldn't tell you like my least favorite part about playing Minecraft is actually Minecraft. Yeah. There was a it video. It is so of, miserable. I, I made a video on my channel where we just raided his 
uh, after he blew up the courthouse, we we had we got a court summons <laughs> or a fucking uh, <laughs> a warrant. A warrant. <laughs> and, and what were the listings for it? Was dude, like, it there was, was like four suspected reasons: suspected bombing of uh, suspected the court- terrorism, and then you were like, "Yeah, I just did that." Uh, illegal, illegal manufacturing of potions, of potions uh, and then being a Republican, suspected Republican. <laughs> <laughs> And then they broke into my house. They blew open my staircase. They went downstairs. They opened up several walls. And I'm like, this goes beyond the warrant. <laughs> <laughs> you are demolishing. Remember, my you home. were like, uh, let me just find the key. And then you just like ran away. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to run. <laughs> we brought Saturn on because it, he had like already like full, uh, netherite not even di- netherite yeah. armor. It's like, you're going to be our muscle. <laughs> One of the suspects of somebody who was just mining, not, yep. fo- not focusing on anything else but upgrading themselves yeah but even was, then uh, that's fine like do that but do you have to rp something make it interactive RP, yeah. it, be if interactive you got involved with that that's shit. good like, yeah. yeah like the yeah. thing i think what a lot of people don't realize is that sometimes the best way to play a game is not to do it optimally it's more fun when you have like a character that you want to build into things that's why i like playing dungeons and dragons yeah i love D D. I don't know if I've told too many we people have a, about how much I love it, me but and D, I love it. Me and Tubalt have a D and D. Uh, yeah, we, we have a, a weekly D and D that we try to go to like it, every week. Every week in person. It's fantastic. Yeah, that's that's also great to make it more consistent because yeah. if there's one thing that destroys every D and D campaign, it's being able to actually show up for them on a regular basis and build your character up, which is why when I try to do it on stream, uh, I'll try and make it one shots because I know for a fact if I try to get content creators roped in, none of them are going to show up on time consistently because that's just how it is being a content creator your schedule is all over the place at the best of times and uh getting something to do consistently for everyone is just not going to happen so i'll try my best to make one shots and i've done that with my chat before and they love it the last character they made was a dude named chris shredfield (laughs) he was a paladin or a he was studying to become a paladin and he had none of the stats required for a paladin they were all put into the exact wrong stats and they just built him that way. All They decided to go with suicide rolls, which is basically you take a D20 and you just send it. And whatever the number pops up as, that's what your stat is. They got like fours and strength and charisma, which are like the main things for a paladin. And like they had bolstered his intelligence. He was worthless. Oh he couldn't do God. anything. <laughs> and he won the entire session by, by turning uh, this giant duck into a weapon. It's awesome. I love so you D&D. guys think you're good at role play? Oh, I'm I love roleplay. He's play. definitely better than me. I, I love I, roleplay. I make my characters more like me. Like, I love watching movies and shit like that. So the character that I have is an actor that, like, loves movies. But And he's Named from Earth. Blocka. Yeah, Oh, Blocka. <laughs> so it's basically, like, exaggeration, exaggerated versions he can of do. He can do anything. I, like, I try to make characters of people that I, like, enjoyed or, like, archetypes that I like. Mine is a stoner. I like... He's, yeah, a, he's like he's, a stir, stoner turtle. He's a he's, you're turtle. very good at placing yourself yeah, but in what's a the voice that situation. What's what is happening, my dudes? Welcome <laughs> to the winking eye. But my he's also very gullible. So there was like a, a time where we were we were like storming a ship. Or, I or, take everything at face yeah, value. Yeah, and then he would... Uh, we, were, we were going into this hostile ship that was filled with mind flares. Or at least it was a ship that was made like from, in a mind from, flare. Uh, 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 what's the, the show? Stranger Things. Mind flare. Like the mind flare? Uh, from the new season of... C- uh, What's the what is mind flare referring to? Mind flare to? in D and D is like a, an octopus head tentacle thing, like for Cthulhu type beat. Like, oh, it's the name yeah. of the monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay, okay. So it looks like it looks like Cthulhu essentially, like a little one. They kind of float around, and have like psionic abilities, or they send like mental energy at you and stuff. But um, th- it was a mind flare ship in astral space because we were doing a uh, what was what's the name of the campaign? Uh, spell Spelljammer. Spelljammer. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever played this type of game. But um, there's a ship that's basically mind flare like known to be mind flare inhabited and it was like floating in space and we thought it was like a derelict ship or whatever and we hop on board of it louis character is like nearby and there's a door and then i hear through the door help me help me the door's locked and i'm like well that is clearly someone in okay <laughs> and i open the door and there's a giant creature there that's just looking at me just like wow i didn't think it'd be that easy it just starts attacking me and i'm just like 
that is quite unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> and then the DM's just like, what do you want to do? And I'm like, all right, so we roll for initiative, which means who goes first. And, and he I went roll first. highest, and I'm like, I close, close the door. The door. <laughs> <laughs> and I lock it, and I'm just like, I am also going to set this place on fire. And I was like, we should be leaving. There are horrifying monstrosities mm-hmm. within these rooms. <laughs> and then, I, and I'm also the captain of the ship, so they're just like, we should stay away from there. I'm like, but think about how cool it is. <laughs> yeah, Do like you, I think. I was gonna. Well, you go because I. So, like in D and D, I think the way to RP is not to not to think about what your character is good at, but think of the flaws and then play off of that. Yes. So like my character has a gambling addiction. So whenever there is any sort of challenge involved, when chance that's involved. Yeah, I'm I'm there. I'm doing it. I 100% know what you mean because when it comes to like story writing and all that, that's what you have to consider when you're making a character if you're an author or any type of artist or anything. If you can make them just likable in the sense and give them a certain flaw and if that flaw happens to be relatable i think that's when the audience will get attached yeah, so course. yeah consider that when you're making a character i think it applies yeah. the same thing and it gives people something to latch on to because when people have a tendency to do is when they escape into their whatever world they're trying to build right because this is what a lot of beginners will do they'll make a character that they want that's ideal like it'll be the perfect thing no one likes a mary sue ever no matter what like, Superman sucks. I'm going to say it right now. I hate Superman because his only DC. flaw is a green rock, and it's stupid. I don't like Superman. I think there's a lot of things about his character that could be interesting, but Omni-Man is way more fun. Yeah. I like Omni-Man way more than Superman. It's this, almost the exact same character, minus, like, laser vision and whatever the f- else Superman does. Like, I understand what Superman's for. He's, like, the god character, right? He's like the, the end-all, be-all problem, and the things that affect him are just weird choices that he has to do, that it has to be moral. But I just like knowing, like, if it's Spider-Man, if someone shoots him, he has a he's bullet dead, wound. Yeah. So it's cool that he has, like, an ability to counteract that, but you know he's vulnerable in some capacity, and that's what makes him so likable. Because he, he, he still does all the amazing things, but his flaw is that he's definitely still human. He's still human, yeah. Yeah, and that's what makes things cool. So if you want to build a character, just bang in a flaw. Mine is gullibility because gullible is it's cute. It makes things fun. I had one character that could not resist opening chests. No matter what, he was a bounty hog. And anytime there was a chest anywhere in a room, it could be the most obvious trap ever. I would say my friends would be like, please don't. And I'd roll for initiative. And because his character was so good at initiative, his stat was always way beyond everyone else's because his dex was so high. He would run over and immediately kick the chest and trigger every trap in the room. Every <laughs> single time and it was the most fun I ever had rip John Flintwick he exploded <laughs> <laughs> damn R.I.P. so like like Ray's character because she's in our in our campaign as well Ray's character is like uh, it's Rackeroth yeah Rackeroth she's like a dumb brute she's a dumb barbarian barbarian chair. that like Whatever it is, she just goes for the physical. Like, if we're talking to some guy and me and him are, since I'm an actor and he, I, I'm a bard. Yeah, bard. So we're good at deceiving and I'm good at like acting or uh, uh, basically. The diplomatic yeah, de- approach. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, if we take too long, Ray says, Ray just I, bonk, immediately <laughs> hits the target. Just hits them. <laughs> I've heard enough. Yeah. It's happened. That's to, exactly it's happened what it is. like multiple times in our campaign. <laughs> My favorite is we were being interrogated by a pol- by a fucking by a police officer. He was just he comes down on his own little like special ship and he's like, and I you was, guys are I, going through I, these infractions. So, yeah, my character has disguised self, so I disguise myself as another police officer. He's like, oh, you know, I'm already taking care of this. You don't have to worry about it. We, you know, you can you can head out. And then Ray just comes up, too long. Bam. And she hits him over the head. Like, it's great. Like you assaulted a police officer. They're gonna have warrants out for our arrest. I'll hit them too. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like, all right, yeah, that's see, that's a great character. Well, just let me very simple and straightforward. I'm gonna ask you guys to put yourselves in uh, different characters. How about that? Sure. Okay. So what I what I've prepared is that I found three. Am I the a hole? Uh, Reddit threads. Oh shit! Sure. And what I want to do sure. is that I want to read you guys the title and not give you any context besides that. All and right. then you're gonna pick which side you want. So you guys have to pick. You have to be the a hole, and then you have to be the person that's like, no, they're not the a hole. Okay. Okay. Sure. So let's start with the beginning. Here's the first title. Am I the a-hole for not showing up to my best friend's girlfriend's party and telling her to leave me alone? So based on that title, one of you pick. Do you want to defend it or do you want to say they're wrong? Okay. 
Am I the a-hole for not showing up to my best friend's girlfriend's party and telling her to leave me alone? I'm going to say he's an asshole. No, he's not an asshole. Okay. Okay. No, I'll, he's I'll an asshole it. because it's his best friend's girlfriend's party, but that means his best friend's going to be there. Yeah, sure. But like, think of it this way, right? Um, I don't want to be around her. I don't think that means I'm an asshole if I already know going into that because I'm there for my best friend, right? Yeah. Because he invited me and it'd be rude not to show up. But that doesn't mean I have to interact with her. I feel like we're both on the same page, right? Like you can still go to the party and not interact with her. Am I the asshole? I forget. Which one am I? You're You're the non-asshole. I'm the non-asshole. Yeah, okay. So that's not an asshole thing to do to just ignore her. Yeah, but you're you're saying he he didn't go. Am I the asshole for showing up to my best friend's no, girlfriend's party? No, for not party? showing up. For, for not. not showing up to my best friend's girlfriend's party. And yes, I and telling yes. And you tell her to leave me alone. Oh. So she reaches out to you, and then you say to her... Leave me alone? Get, a, get out of my life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so now shit. Do you, now do you, here's the specifics. So now that you've <laughs> oh, laid down the I rule see, of what I you see. think could happen, I'm going to read you. And, uh, I interrupt feel like this needs interrupt more me. context, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Interrupt me what whenever. What if the best friend... Okay, what okay. if the best friend... So I just rejected it flat out. That's where I got the invite that said, leave me alone. That's yeah. what we're going to do. I'm going to read through the story and interrupt wait, wait, wait. me okay, whenever. So I mean this. I, I want to... Okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's... There, how many girlfriends does your best friend get? That's like the big thing. Like, is this oh, like I a just new bring, girlfriend? I don't think this brings us up in here. Wait, okay, I'll have to read the story. Right. I don't know if that part gets brought up. Okay, here we, go. here we go. This involves me, 27 male. My best friend, Derek, 27 male. His girlfriend, Molly, 26 female. And Molly's sister, Courtney, 28 female. Okay. So me, Derek, best friend, girlfriend, Molly, girlfriend sister Courtney okay Okay. Derek and Molly have been dating for over a year Derek and I are roommates so I've known Molly for a while she's a nice girl but has this attitude of she's always right I found I find her a little annoying but Derek loves her and I support him so I'm friends with her she's a really good person I will say and comes from a great family which includes her sister Courtney who I've met once or twice okay all right sure About a month ago, Derek asked me what I thought about Courtney. I said she was hot and really down to earth, and I've had good times whenever she goes out with us. Derek said Molly wanted him to ask me that. I said I I wasn't interested in her due to her history, but if she wanted to ever hang out or something casual, she could have my number. So it sounds like he's basically saying, let's hook up. Yeah. Besides that, nothing more. Okay. 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 Derek reported back to Molly, and the last few weeks... And he's being very upfront about that, which is good. That's good. There's a lot of honesty in this post. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, yeah, okay, give her my number. Like... He, he went out to say, yeah. like, I don't see a future with her. Okay. Yeah. If, as long as everyone knows. And again, so, so far, he's and not again, the asshole. Due to her history. Yeah. That's Remember also that a big part. Thing. That's I'm kind of fucked in this situation if I have to argue for asshole because <laughs> so far he's not an asshole. <laughs> but okay. Uh, Derek reported back to Molly and the last few weeks have been awkward. Molly seems standoffish. I bought her a beer and asked her what was wrong last week. She said she didn't like what I said about her sister. What? I said that her sister had been married before, was pregnant and got divorced. It was too much baggage for me. I to thought true. all was good after we talked. So what it seems though, he's saying, I don't want anything to do with your sister, like past friendship, because you've been uh, married, seems, divorced, she pregnant. She seems crazy. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. He's not an asshole, still. So. Yeah. All right. Fuck. Last <laughs> week, see, see what you're saying already. Some people would already disagree with you, but again, you have to stick to it. I know, I you have, have to, to stick okay, to okay, it. Okay. Last weekend, Molly hosted a game night at Courtney's house. She made it a big. Uh, Wait, what? She, she made a big to do about this game night and kept mm-hmm. asking if I was going to come. I told her maybe. I had other plans that night, so I might stop by. I went out for a drink and then decided to stay home and watch a game. At 8 p.m., Molly Preach. started texting me asking when I was coming. I started ignoring her and then she called like three times. Derek started texting me too, and I told him that I didn't want to go over to Courtney's for some couples game night and want to watch the game. He said it was duo games only, so they needed me. I said that I maybe. To be, I said, eh, I said that I said maybe to begin with, so they should find other games. Molly called me at least one time on Derek's phone. She sounded mad and was like telling me to come. I told her to fuck off and leave me alone. Derek texted <laughs> me yesterday and said I should apologize to her and her sister, as Courtney was the one without a partner and went and got my specific beers that I liked. I said that it wasn't my fault. I never gave a yes and never told anyone to get me anything. And his girl should have respected that. I agree entirely. I okay. He's an asshole. So he's a selfish asshole. Like, he, he's friends with these people, right? Yeah. Been friends with them for a year. Oh, yeah. They want to be around him. Sure, they're doing this weird setup thing with his sister. He's already made his intentions clear. He's an asshole. Yeah. Just go. Just go. Just go. What's a night? 
He's not you don't a game. He's not Once an you go, yeah, it's my not... time is my time. All right. If I say maybe, it's maybe yeah, you, until I agree. You have your until time. Until then, all you the assume time. that I'm saying no when it's a maybe. If unless it's a sure, you plan for no. If you don't plan ahead, that is entirely on you. Sure, I said maybe to uh, coming up to this game night, but I've already made it clear I don't really want to pursue. I would anything. never do that to you. Sure, you might not. But that's not the issue here, is it? So I'm putting myself in your shoes. If I put, if I say my, if I say I maybe to anything, that's basically okay. No. If but you, I'm trying to be polite. I've always seen a maybe. That's really what no. it is. Yeah, exactly, and that's how you should view it. But not when I'm telling other people. If not I say when maybe, you're telling look, your best yeah, yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. If I tell my best friend, maybe I'll be there. I, it'll depend on how the night goes. I think he's my best friend enough to know that I mean no. That's basically how it's going to go down. Okay. Do I think that the other people are a little Especially bit presumptuous? Yes. Exactly. But the fact that you want to just stay home and st- and and watch a uh, a, a sports ball game, yeah, yeah, like that's such an asshole. That's move. my just, time. That's my time. How, how how often do I get a chance to sit around and just be myself? Sometimes in I don't our lives, go sometimes I don't want to get. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> listen, are we I'm assuming an that they have our you know, lives? You don't understand. Well, your yeah, time, I'm assuming. I'm listen, putting, okay, I'm okay, putting yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> your time is different from my time. You like being around other people. To I, me, it's taxing. To me, it's a very big deal if I want to spend time with people. And that is a very valuable commodity that I don't necessarily want to do because I'm always going to be exhausted no matter what around people, even if I like them. Just going out is difficult. And if I say maybe, it's because I'm trying to be as conscientious of that fact and your time as possible and give you like the opportunity to just say, hey, man, here's a, like a thing that might be like what we really need you for. But if you don't elaborate, no one told me at the beginning it would be only couples games. You just say, hey, we're doing a game night. That changes things immensely. If you're saying you're the designated partner for this person, I'd be like, hey, I might not be in the mood for this, especially after I've already done stuff. Make sure you have a backup. If you don't have a backup and I don't decide to come by, that's on you, dog. That's on you. This was brought up after the fact, it seems as though, that the person got their specific favorite beer. Uh, Courtney bought the guy's favorite beer after the fact. So it's like, oh my God, I did this without telling you. Now I have something to guilt you over with. Yeah, exactly. She's got ammo in the back pocket just in case to just riddle me with guilt bullets. And you know what? I don't feel that way. I don't get anxiety about this shit. I don't feel guilty. Just go. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I decided I didn't want to because I already ran- my social battery is already dead. I'm not going to be miserable at the party and ruin the mood for so everyone. So you went into this knowing that you probably wouldn't have gone? I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how taxing it's going to be. And that's just, I think for anyone that has a social battery that's based around like it exhausts as you meet people. The more you go out, the harder it is to go out again after another thing, which is why like people ask me, hey, do you want to come out this week? I'm like, no, I already gone to one event. I, it's too much. I've it's learned too much. I've learned that like if something is presented to me in the moment, I'm like, no. But if plans change, it will be a yes. Sure. And that's fine. But the thing is, like. If you are someone that is introverted. Going out is an ordeal, no matter what. It'll always be an ordeal because. The worst thing you can do when you go out as an introvert is know that you're going to be miserable because there's nothing that's going to be able to change it there because there's no way to recharge. So you would have said fuck off to the oh, 100%. your best friend's girlfriend. Oh, 100%. Yeah, but you wouldn't have let it get that far. Exactly. Also that. But in this, in this scenario where he's saying fuck off, it's because his battery is But that's why bad. I'm saying he's an asshole. Yeah. Sure, go ahead. I could, but I, I would feel horrible he's about not doing that. I'd be like, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I, I would. I would rather say to me like, he's not. bro, I, 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 I'm being. A dick. I would have I said can't. from the beginning, like, I see what you guys are trying to do. I don't want to do it. Some people don't have the foresight, <laughs> though. Either way, he's not an asshole. He's an introvert. There's a difference. He's not an asshole. Is he? Yeah, he he's could. watching sports ball. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> he's not interested in the girl. There you go. He's not, but she's clearly interested in him. Well, she got the alcohol specifically listen, for him. Listen. Sometimes you meet the wrong person at the right time. Other times, it just don't work out. That's just how it is. And this was one of those scenarios where uh, I saw someone that, you know, is attractive conventionally. But uh, maybe, you know, maybe I don't want to go can through we address? Can we address <laughs> the, the reason that he didn't like her? He didn't say it was because of her looks or her personality. He said it because of her, His her past. past. Yeah. She was pregnant. She Which is also marriage, pretty fucking and got divorced. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, sometimes that's just how uh, some people just don't want to have to go through all the trauma that comes along with that kind of thing. That's a lot, man. You can't ask that of everyone. You said she had baggage. Yeah, exactly. That You think that comes without baggage? Bruh. It's a whole thing. It does, it does go saying a lot that you would divorce after. Uh... She's also only 28. Think yeah. about that. 
So that's all. Nah, nah. People are people are getting married now at like my age. Well, oh, damn, I'm gonna be 28 in two years. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think people are getting. I've seen people in my generation getting married at like 23, 24. Listen, I'm gonna be honest that with means, you. I think the perfect time to be married is 30. I think that is the perfect yeah, yeah. time to be married and have a child. It's like 30 yeah. ish. Because you have enough energy to like take care of a kid actively. And also, you're grounded enough usually to be like, yeah, I can do this. I think yeah, before no. then, it's probably pretty risky either way. Like, unless you're very thoroughly established, which is very hard to do. I think 40s is pretty good too. Like, early 40s. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I think, I think 30s still has more energy than 40, though. Because I know I knew my parents in their forties, and like they're still active and whatnot. But like having a baby at forty is different from having a. My dad a is in his sixties now, so then he was probably like... ten years old. A toddler, but well, 10 years think old? about it. Think about it, guys. All of us are single right now. Let's say we get into a relationship at the earliest in a year. We sure. would need to establish. Like you're saying, thirty is a good I time said to that get would married. Be perfect. It's not ideal. Like yeah. for me personally, you have to I don't. Like, I'm never having a kid. First off, oh, yeah. screw that. Ain't no way. I my brother just became a father literally two days ago He's as I'm recording this podcast. I am now an uncle, and my brother, thank you, That's my wonderful. brother holding that small child in his arms. He looked on it with so much love, and all I was thinking about the entire time was like, I'm gonna be such a good uncle to that kid, but I would never want one. There's so much responsibility in that. I am yeah. terrified of having a child because I fuck up all the time, and like it's more than just that, but like. If I forget to feed the kid, if I forget to feed myself, if I forget to feed the kid and it dies, I'm going to jail forever. He's gotten multiple parking tickets. For I have gotten we've known. two parking tickets since moving to L.A. <laughs> and this is a weekly schedule that we're following. Very, I have two alarms on my It's very clear phone when he has to this. move his car and still. I'll be honest. So the first one was because I got the dates mixed up. That was like the first week I was here. And I was just like, all right, fair enough. I won't mess that up. And I just got the other one recently. And I was walking out to move my car. And the lady was looking at me, writing the ticket. And I said, please don't. And right. the lady looked at me and said, it's already in the system. Yeah. And continued writing the ticket. I'm just like, is it? <laughs> is it really? Please. I've just, I just woke up. Like, please. And she's just like, she threw it on my car when I started walking towards it. She like threw it onto the hood. I was like, you bitch. Yeah. This is why people right. don't like cops. <laughs> That's true. Amongst okay. other things, but it's primarily okay. this. Um, this one is a little bit easier. Here, you claimed that you wanted to be... Uh, well, I want to hear the title first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you have to claim it first this time. Okay. Okay, sure. here we go. The second scenario. Am I the a-hole for saying that I don't want to eat body parts? <laughs> I'll say he's an asshole. Okay. okay. I think he's the I'll asshole. Agree to that? All right. That's it. I, 23 female, am with my boyfriend, 24 male, for over three years now. Okay. His parents, mom and stepdad, and I have had our issues in the beginning, but after about two years, they seem to accept me, even though I won't forget certain things they've said about or towards me. I felt like it went uphill. Oh, five months parents, ago... Man, the worst. Five months ago, I decided to go vegan. My boyfriend has been very supportive all the time. He even eats a lot of vegan food now, too. Shit. And when we visited his parents, <laughs> his mom would also prepare something for me to eat. I told her thank you and how much I appreciate that. I've never commented their food or started a discussion about vegan because I know it's neither the time nor the place to do that. I realize they're not interested in it, and I'm just glad that we get along, to be honest. A couple weeks ago, my boyfriend turned 24, and we had a B-Day brunch, birthday brunch at his parents' house with his sister and... B-I-L, brother-in-law. My boyfriend provided the food and his mom. Him and I prepared it together at their house. My boyfriend wanted to have everything at the table available in vegan too. He wanted it not just for me, but also for his family to try some if they wanted. Okay. Sure. All caught up? Any so questions? Far. No. Okay. Now this happened. My boyfriend also put bacon and vegan bacon on the table. Okay. At this moment... It's his stepdad, his sister, and me at the table when his stepdad loudly comments something about how stupid the idea of vegan bacon is and who even needed to make that nonsense. I didn't think much of it and responded to him in the nicest voice I had that vegan bacon was a great alternative if you like the taste of bacon but don't like eating body parts. Now, he's furiously complaining he hasn't ever heard such nonsense <laughs> as meat being called body parts and how stupid that was. Boyfriend's sister asked if he was fine and why he was so angry. When we finally ate, I asked boyfriend's brother-in-law for the egg salad, which was vegan too. So stepdad asked me now if Can I'm it going be to vegan eat... with egg in it. It's yeah. probably like a vegan egg salad. Yeah, yeah. It's a, can, what's the vegan alternative egg, to they, egg? They can make eggs out of like soybeans or uh, yeah, what? Fake yeah. eggs, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. fair it's enough. I guess. Good. So the stepdad asked me now if I'm going to eat dead baby animals. I respond that technically, oh. <laughs> 
twist and turn here. Uh, I respond that technically there's no bagel. Er, bag, bagel. I respond that technically there's no baby unless the egg was fertilized, but it, but it wasn't real eggs anyway. <laughs> this is when his mom steps in and ve- says... Vegetarians can eat eggs, but vegans yeah, can't. Yeah, exactly. But she's saying she's vegan, so... Yeah. This is when his mom steps in and says everyone should just eat their own food now and leave others alone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. A Good on the mom. Yep. A few days after this, his parents talked to my boyfriend about it. The stepdad says he's not happy with how things went and that I was being disrespectful towards him of by course. calling meat, quote, body parts. He argues what that if anything, <laughs> he argues that if anything, it's a cadaver, not a body, because it's an animal and not human. <laughs> Semantics. That's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. But yeah, yeah. she's still an asshole. I hate this chick. <laughs> yeah, I want to see how you defend that. Yeah, let's hear it. There's still a little Why bit more. is she a vegan to begin with? It's just a lifestyle choice at this point. Sure. If you're a vegan, <laughs> if you're a vegan and it's not based around your dietary needs, you're just making things harder for everyone. That's really what it is. For who? Everyone. Who? Just make one giant meal for everyone. That's it. It's so much easier on everyone, especially they those preparing brought, the meals. They literally brought their own vegan meals. It doesn't matter. It's hard How for How would... How wait, she, that... wait, she brought her own Yes. Meal? It's not that the mom prepared no, it? No, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, so basically she just... The mom flaunting... has prepared meals before, though. Okay, which is an asshole thing to have someone do for you if you're a vegan. Bring your own shit, first off. Secondly, uh, even if she did bring it, uh, she's clearly rubbing it in everyone's face. No. Yeah, 100%. No. Yeah. You're grasping at Shaw's no, here. No, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Vegans are just mean really because they try to make themselves better than people by saying oh yeah no i don't eat animals or whatever despite the fact that uh we have too many cows on the planet you ever think about that we there don't. are so many no we do genuinely we do the the biggest pollutant on the planet is literally methane from cows incorrect no that is correct that is straight up the truth look it up right now That's i promise you it is taco Bell. it is literally <laughs> The biggest, one of the biggest pollutants on the planet, if not the, it's from how much methane is produced from the amount of cows that we have. So by being a vegan and not eating cow, you are l- actively killing this planet. Okay. Or, one, or, it's fossil fuels is number one. What's the second? You're uh, uh, fast fashion. And then I'm third. Fast fashion is a pollutant? Yes. That's hilarious. And Stop doing fast well, fashion. did you know that if you're not buying these cow products, you're not supporting <laughs> the active search for more cows? To yeah, but if you eat meat. them, problem gone. That's one less cow. That's why when I, <laughs> that's why when I eat any meat whatsoever, I eat double the amount of a normal person. So that one vegan <laughs> <laughs> that thinks they're making a difference, nothing changes. <laughs> I eat meat to counter vegans. That's why she's an asshole. She's making me eat that no, cow. No, the, the family's I, an asshole. I don't think I have to argue my point. It's that story is pretty graph. cut and dry. Anything could change. <laughs> Anything could change. Ross trying to make this person sound bad. It is just okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> one more. One more paragraph. Honestly, I think this is ridiculous. I admit. I admit. I could have just ignored him, maybe, but I don't really see why I would sit there and let him talk like that. Which, in my opinion, was disrespectful in the first place. My boyfriend oh my wants God. me to s- fix the situation. I'm ready to do that for his sake, but I honestly don't think I'm the one who owes an apology, and so I don't true. want his parents to think it's fine. All I think about this, and especially his stepdad right now is like play stupid games with stupid prices but maybe there's different opinions on this yeah i'm gonna be honest with you if i wasn't forced to to fight for this <laughs> she's done nothing wrong <laughs> that is a dick it's so hard <laughs> yeah but <laughs> just eat a lot of beet people just <laughs> counter that beat i've never <laughs> i've never asshole, actually clearly um there's nobody in my family as far as i know that is vegan that affects me to the point like they'll be at a family gathering mm-hmm. But, you know, uh, we we bring enough food that there are just so many uh, vegan and vegetarian yeah. options available. It's actually, like, so I went vegan for four months. Really? Like, really? maybe, like, three years ago. Oh, why? Man, I didn't know just that. Just to try it. I was with my yeah. old roommate, and uh, he was vegan, and he was like, hey, you should go vegan. I was like, ah, fuck it. And um, I went home, and then my mom was actually very excited about it. Like, I feel yeah. like people actually get excited about it. It's like, oh, I get to try cooking, like, other shit. Like... Mm. if we're doing like a family get together. So be honest. In your four months, what was the worst dish you had and the best? 
Uh, Do you remember? So even? the best is I would have this soy chorizo, like uh, a chorizo, uh, oh. like imitation. For breakfast, I would put like spinach and uh, um, peppers, and I would like cut it all up and stuff. Mm-hmm. And that was the, like I had it every morning. It was literally the best thing I like. It's still to this day. It's still like a really solid breakfast. See, I've had that. I just like it. Just feels like I'm missing the meat in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I completely agree. <laughs> uh, and then like the that. worst meal, I I don't I don't care too much about jackfruit. Jackfruit? Yeah, it's like a jackfruit. I don't know what it is exactly. It's a fruit, but it has the same kind of te- uh, texture and consistency as um as like uh, pulled pork. Delicious. Mm. I've, I have pulled chicken literally every day. I love <laughs> pork. Pulled pork is just so dry to me. Pork in general is. Oh, you don't like pork? No, I love pork, but pulled pork. I don't know why. Well, it's then you get it bad. So, you get it at a bad place. No, pulled I've gotten pulled pork, so pork at good, good places. Even when I'm aware of the fact that it's like covered in I don't know just other sauces and all that. No, I've had good pulled pork before, and even then I'm thinking like this is dry. I have. Let me make you. I have. Let me make you. Some Cuban pulled pork, and we'll, we'll listen. The I only meat have I think the only meat that is consistently almost always dry because it's so damn hard to make it correctly is turkey. Turkey, oh, turkey yeah, is yeah, yeah. constantly dry. Yeah, big ham it's, guy here at Thanksgiving. It's such a shame because turkey is so good for you. It is such a good. I do a lot meat. of ground turkey stuff for meal prep. Sure, sure, but if you have turkey in any other way that's not just ground meat or whatever, it is the driest thing on the planet. Like. Watching someone carve a turkey for Christmas, I'm like, and then it's, and then it's and, like you can hear them. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just like, God damn it! <laughs> and your aunt has spent so long trying to make this turkey. And you're like, fuck! I have to eat this turkey. <laughs> and it's just terrible. They ever show you the picture of that turkey that it was? Yes. To fuck? Yes. I. I. Yes. One of my favorite things ever. So I didn't actually make that turkey. I know you did not, because I don't cook ever if i can help it i hate i assume your family all of your family is like you and they don't know how to do no most of my family is actually very good at cooking that turkey by the way was actually fucking amazing was it it was meant to be that way it was meant to be that i know i don't know what it was saying this is just hard for me to believe even i find it hard to believe because it was literally black like the turkey looked like a lump of coal when it came out I, i told my cousin who made that i was like what the hell? It looked did like you, you could you turkey? could take that shit outside and throw it like a football. Yeah, like it looked it it looked crazy. It was literally pitch black. It all that happened was they completely nuked the skin of it in an air fryer or something because they had like put it in like uh, grease or oil or whatever, and it turned the skin pitch black. And they peeled the skin away, and the inside was literally the best turkey I've ever had in my entire life. It was like it was it was sealed perfectly inside this just charred skin. And it was so goddamn good. I bet the skin was even good. It, the skin was a little charred. I'll be real with you. It yeah. was it was black. But, but it, I like the burnt. It was, like, I like burnt taste. So oh, I love it. Yes. Yeah. No, I don't like burnt taste at all. Not the whole thing. But if you can mix it in, yeah, with, yeah. like the well cooked stuff. Well, not like well done. Like, have like, you ever like, had like a, a burnt uh, like a burnt skin uh, burnt chicken skin butter like um, compound butter? I don't even Ooh, know what oh, that just is. bring up butter. That sounds man. insane. Mm. So well, the only time I have anything that's burnt is with marshmallows because I'm very impatient. I'll put it on the stick and I'll literally put it in the fire so it's on fire and I'll blow it out and then it's just perfectly cooked on the I don't inside. like That's s'mores. <gasps> what? I've never liked it. I There's nothing it. about them that's I bad. I love it. All of those things yeah, are good. I, well, I you think know the what whole... it is? I think I've come to terms with I just don't like the flavor of marshmallows. What wow. if it, well, I'll try to wow. look at it this way. I think okay. I always thought that it was the whole idea that no. you're camping, you're being very active throughout the day, you have dinner, and it's just clearly not enough to fill up because you could only pack stuff that you could bring to the tent, and then you still have an appetite, and then bang, s'mores, a type of nutrients, I you like, eat it. I like all of the s'mores ingredients separate, but together, together it just doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't go for... What do you guys in? eat your foods? Like if you have like if you go to Thanksgiving right, wolf you have, it down. and you have like a whole plate just full of stuff, do you mix it together? No, to not not always. It depends. So like breakfast stuff, I'll mix completely. So I'll I'll oh, yeah. if I have sure. like bacon, uh, hash browns, eggs, I'll cut everything and then mix all of that together. Sandwich. But for dinner, so like it, you know, it would be like what? Um, do you want to know how I eat? There's two ways that I eat. I know. I make slop. I no. Well, this is besides the slop. That's an entirely separate thing, and it's. It's own thing. I'm talking about how I eat when other people give me food at events like Thanksgiving. I will immediately put down mashed potatoes. I will coat the bottom of the plate in mashed potato. Like just full on, the full plate is covered with it. I hate and then mashed potatoes. That's something we'll unpack in a second. But you put, I put mashed potatoes all the way on the bottom. And then I'll, I'll put the meat on it. 
and then I'll put a veggie and then I'll put whatever other things like whatever additives, right? And then because I have the mashed potato on the bottom, it makes it easier for me to just stir it all together into one mashed potato just covered like casserole looking thing. And then I'll eat it like that. And I'll pour gravy over it sometimes. No, I'm definitely like a section of my plate kind of No, it has to be all together. I want every flavor to interact. I'm a big section guy. And I think that's why I might not like mashed potatoes. And I've tried mixing stuff with it. I'll try putting the cranberries in, not the like, gravy with it. Have you had good it. mashed potatoes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you act like I haven't eaten food in but my life. Yes, I've been around. Mashed potatoes is... is so easy. I like it's potatoes. So I like so potatoes. Good. Like like uh, but they're fantastic. so many other assortments of how you can prepare a potato. But like mash. I think it's so again, hard to find so someone that doesn't like anything about potatoes. Although I'll be honest. No, no, I, I love like potatoes. It. But mashed potatoes, I don't know. I can never like. I'm just like a spoonful. It just feels like I'm eating mush, like oatmeal in the morning. That's just disgusting. Crazy. The fastest way to get food down your gullet is just mixing with mashed potatoes and just you can. No, mashed potatoes. No, so the mashed, so even when I mix good. it with everything, like put a, put on a sandwich, put bread in it, like I said, cranberries, gravy, put, the meat, like whatever it is, turkey, ham, whatever it is, I'm just like, oh my God, it's slowing down the process that I'm chewing. Mine, you want to know the second way that I eat? <laughs> I told you guys about the everything sandwich, right? No? no? You've never heard about the everything sandwich? Okay, so my brother can attest to this because he walked, <laughs> it was like maybe 10 a.m. <laughs> after Thanksgiving when we have all the leftovers, right? And that's, primo gremlin hours yeah because yeah. after thanksgiving you always sleep in because you're always bloated or whatever and you've been drinking and, and you wake up hungry yeah so i come downstairs i must have been like maybe 20 at the time but i made the the first true everything sandwich that someone else had witnessed because normally i eat this in like hiding because i don't want <laughs> i don't want people to judge me but we had one piece of bread left over from like a, a baguette or something like that and that was my base and then i took uh, a piece of chicken i put it on top of that and then I put some greens, which is probably like broccoli or Brussels sprouts, spinach, something like that. Good casserole. Yeah, yeah. Put that on top. And then I put the mashed potatoes. And then I put a cosmic brownie. And then I put... <laughs> what? <laughs> like with all the... The, the whiplash. Skittle, like not skittle. <laughs> Jesus with Christ. With the M&M looking things on it, right? Oh, no. <laughs> I put a cosmic brownie. <laughs> and then I put sweet potato on top of it. Love sweet potatoes. It's and then potato I was I missing another piece of bread, so I took a slice of pizza. Oh, God. And I it upside down, and then I used that as the top of my sandwich. And my brother came in as I was putting sprinkles on it. Sprinkles? <laughs> Ew. And you said you were 20? That's too much. Just different. And like, I, I understand salty and thing, sweet. And he was looking at me just like, what the fuck? Fuck yeah, is that? And I'm like, yeah. this is. The That's ep- why he has a child, and, and you I was don't. Like, this is- <laughs> <laughs> that exact that that canon moment in your life of you eating that is why he has a child, and you don't. <laughs> oh, <I'm> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the everything sandwich <laughs> and I took that and I ate it. And the best part about an everything sandwich is, to me, the fact that I taste nothing blends together in the sandwich. Nothing goes with anything. I literally taste every single thing as I'm biting down individually, and it feels like I'm having the entire Thanksgiving meal again. Why are cosmic brownies a part of your Thanksgiving meal? Oh, that one? was just because it was in the it was in the in the leftover cabinet. Okay. No, it was in the cabinet and I just wanted one. What about pizza? The pizza was there from like a couple nights before Thanksgiving. So that was like leftover pizza. So I think I had pepperoni on it. It was pretty good. <sighs> I think we should do a podcast good, episode where we make it was that so and we good. all try it. It was yeah. so good. I love no, that. It will we'll get banned because we'll be vomiting <laughs> on the microphone. It really was. It just you taste everything. Nothing blends. That's the that's the whole thing about the everything sandwich is that you taste everything. I'm like there's a piece of bread here. There's chicken. There's greens, and it just goes through your cosmic whole mouth. Cosmic brownie. It was a cosmic brownie in there. It was mm. so good. It was so good. I love that sandwich. Cosmic brownie, dude. That's I I love that sandwich. That was such a good sandwich. But that's how I eat everything. Oh. I just kind of mash it all together. Well, and I, I, I can eat everything. I only have two foods that I will not eat, and that is um, pickles and yeah, olives. Yeah. Well, anything brined, right? Well, to be Love fair, olives. I can sometimes get through other pickled things. Like it, for whatever reason, I think it's just because cucumbers are like ninety percent water. So when you put it in like vinegar or whatever, it just sucks that in, and it's just you. The only thing you taste is vinegar. Some other pickled things I can eat because it's not so bad. Like pickled onions. Like it's maybe. not. Yeah, it's like not my favorite still because I really just don't like vinegar. But I like it. I can still eat it so long as it's not just vinegar. No, I like, like salt I like and vinegar chips stuff. are terrible. Like I think I, they're terrible. No, yeah, see, that's where we we differ. But I'll like still eat them. I'll still eat them. That's the thing with pickles. I if it physically makes me like recoil 
Because it just feels one it's time, so much. <laughs> one time I ordered pizza. And I like these two topics on my pizzas. Uh, black olives and um, pepperoni. And he had the audacity to say, well, okay, I order it before I like <laughs> talk to Christian. And then it comes <laughs> through the door. And he's like, oh, can I like have a slice? I'm like, sure, man. And then he opens it up. And he's like, you did this on purpose. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, you ordered that so I wouldn't eat it. And I'm like, first of all, I like black olives. I've been over this a million times. <laughs> Second of all. Why would I order it just so you couldn't have it? I said you could have a slice right now. I didn't know I that. I thought this... he was being so selfish. I'm no. like, you monster. <laughs> you and I was like, yeah, I'm all it vegan. Me. <laughs> Who has a, a pepperoni and olive pizza? I've never seen that before up until he ordered it. I love and it. I thought it's because he knew I love I, I love. I was just like, you could just have the pizza. It's okay. You, you might don't crucify, have to put olives on Crucify it. me for this, but I love <laughs> pepperoni, black olive, pineapple. What the, Damn it. That's so much We were doing salt. so well. I, that's so much But salt. then it's offset by the pineapple. Pineapple kills you. The thing is, I like it pineapple. It eats you from the inside if you have too much. You'd have I, to have like 200 pineapples and then you'll actually die or something. Yeah, but that's a lot of that's pineapple. That's 200 yeah, but pineapples. but you're getting there. Imagine if it builds up and it stays in your body. How do you know you're getting it all out it's when you go to the bathroom? It's not arsenic. It doesn't just chill in your body until I'm not it eating something that's eating me. Die. I'm eating it. Are you kidding I know you don't like... Why? But why? That's like the I best feeling ever. It's, it's knowing it's pineapple's whore, eating you back. Okay, but what it's, about other sweet things? So, have you ever tried like a hot honey on pizza? Oh, what? I don't think so. But I, that doesn't sound like the worst. But I, I like pineapple on its own. I don't. It's not, I don't, on my it's pizza. not the pineapple specifically, and I like. I, I get that there's a whole pineapple, no pineapple debate. Oh yeah, there is. But it's not the pineapple specifically that I like. I just like the sweet aspect of it. Ugh. God, no. Here's the thing. Just, just when remo- I eat a pineapple pizza... It is a little bit tart, too. Another, Maybe that's why you don't like another it. Another thing that like kind of relates to that based on my taste is if I have yogurt and there's mashed like cranberries in there. I guess it's the whole idea that really? when I'm eating something and I feel something that's like already squished, like a fruit that's already squished in my mouth, I'm like... So you're a big texture guy. I get the ick. Maybe I am. Yeah. But I don't yeah. think there's anything else that applies to that. I only have too much of that. It's like, what, I will say this, though. <laughs> As an Italian, I don't consider pineapple pizza a pizza. It's just a snack that has yeah. pineapple. I mean, that has pizza. I wouldn't like, say this is a it. fucking, but this Italian fucking great. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> gastronomical. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I, I'll eat it. I, w- I won't say no. It like, I, I know for a fact when I'm putting this it. in my mouth, it's like, this is some crazy, awesome American creation, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat it, and I'll be like, I'm eating... A good snack. That's really all I'm thinking the entire time because it doesn't have olives or pickles on it. And those are the only two things. I think as an adult, if like you're a picky on eater, pizza. <laughs> listen, I'm telling you right oh, now, if you're a picky God. eater as an adult, grow the fuck up. You're a picky eater. No, I'm not. I just told you there's two things I don't like. Okay. Two things. Yeah, but I love those things. What so about it's vegan? Like, to me, you're picky. I'll, you're I can still eat vegan. I like vegan stuff. I don't think it's good. I'll still eat it. I, that, that's the big thing is when I think picky oh, eaters, okay, they'll okay, utterly okay, refuse okay. to eat anything unless it's something specific. The worst are people that don't like onions. That's crazy to me. I love onions. Yeah. I mean, I've had a couple. It makes your breath smell, though, after you've even brushed oh, no, You know 100%. what? Dude, 100%. I heard this thing. is like. M- if someone maybe... told me I don't eat onions because it makes me smell bad. Yeah, like, it, like okay, really garlic sweat. and onion. Yeah. When you're cooking it, it, smells awesome. It's like yeah. somebody walks in the house yes. like, ooh, what's, what's, what's cooking? True. Mm-hmm. But as True. soon as you eat it, what, it smells bad? Fuck you. You're saying like it just, no like when I when I when I over prepare an amount of onions in my mouth, I can physically taste the bad smell. <laughs> like that's that's what I'm like sad about is Listen, that I'll I know I can right have now, too if much. You, if you tell me I don't eat onion or garlic because it makes me smell terrible, I'll be like, that's fair. I understand that. I but don't, if you tell me I don't, I don't like the syrup. taste of them, I'm like Maple syrup. Yeah. Maple syrup makes you smell bad? uh, I think it does. When I eat maple syrup, I feel like it's sweating through my pores. Yeah, that's fair. That's what onion... I hate that feeling. That's what onion and garlic does, pretty much. (laughs) I hate that feeling. Mm. It's just so thick in my body. That's just what it is. I had one friend that loved this Subway sandwich that had, like, garlic, um, I think, like, butter or something that was on it. And Mm. whenever he ate it, it was so good. It smelled amazing. I would but then as soon as it that. goes in the mouth, it dude, smells bad. He, like within What's up 10 with minutes of him completely eating God the do sandwich. That? Dude, it's 10 the minutes of completely mixture, eating that like sandwich. Chemicals. Like you mix it with certain products and it'll create an explosion. Mm-hmm. Dude, 10 minutes of him eating that sandwich, all I smelled was his B.O. It was so bad. And he was just like, I'm sorry, I just have to eat the sandwich. I'm like, do you though? With other people? Like, you know it smells what's bad. Your, okay, what's your Subway order? Like the go-to sandwich. Oh, I have like a very basic, uh, like kind of Doesn't matter rotisserie what chicken. Uh, okay, so Italian herbs and cheese, ham, bacon, lettuce, black olives, honey mustard, mixed cheese, 
Um, is there anything else? That might be it. Avocado or yeah. See, that's okay. not that basic. Let's still, let's still got some stuff. Mine is the Philly steak and cheese on Italian herb. Uh, I love that. Yeah, and with uh, spinach instead of okay. lettuce. So my and mine is the, the is, Italian yeah. herbs and cheese. I feel like we're all Italian Classic. herbs. It's, it's the best it, bread. Yeah, yeah exactly. Why would you get anything else unless you're like There's watching a you're, on you're the bread on its being, own? You're yeah. already eating shit. You're eating Subway. Let's just get, get that out the of the way. Get the best bread. Just so get it's out Italian herbs and cheese, the Italian BMT. So, and you know what? I, I found out recently what, what it is. What is the BMT? It, so it's uh, salami, uh, pepperoni, or sorry, salami, um, bacon, oh, yeah, lettuce, no, no. tomato. What no, is no, it? Not, what is the M? Not bacon. <laughs> it's no, bacon, no, mayo, no. tomato. <laughs> it stands for it stands for bigger, meatier, tastier. Oh, that's what that stands for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's like salami, then the pink salami, and then another Italian meat. It's a bunch of Italian meats. Then uh, provolone, uh, spinach, lettuce, tomato, uh, salt. And pepper. After you say the tomato, then olive oil and vinegar, and uh, that's a hell of a sandwich, man. And um, then I asked them to put the Chipotle Southwest on the bread. Dude, side. that sounds mm. like a hell of a thing to have to eat. It's so that's good. so messy, man. So good. That's I could so never messy. get through it now, but like, <laughs> it's so good. My two orders were the Philly steak and cheese and then the Italian meatball. And that was like the only thing I, I ever hate. Ordered. Meatball subs. I love them. It's oh my the God. same so them fucking now, thing man. as Pringles. Right? What? Wait, what? Like, okay, I hate Pringles. Yeah. Not That's for the fair. taste. It's the delivery system. Oh, really? How you how you I actually eat it? Hate it. That I give. I feel the that. packaging of it's Pringles annoying. is stupid. Meatball sub. Meatballs were not meant to be on a sub. It's stupid. You take a bite of a meatball. You're either either you're eating half a meatball and then that meatball falls out, falls or you're out, e taking yep. a whole meatball and that's a big that. bite. Nah, I feel I, that. I, I, that's, it's so I love stupid. That. Just I love that. put to cook the meatball in a sub fashion. Because it's just no, no, no. spreadable You know meat. what the strat is? You know what the strat is? I'm so angry about it's a, this. No, no. I'm so it's angry about It's a two-handed this. technique. You take it from the bottom. You're holding the whole sandwich. When you bite into that first half of that meatball, because I'm assuming not everybody can take a whole like mouthful of one meatball at once, then Cowards you hold can. up the part that falls out with your left hand, and then there you go. And no. That's how you do it. No, that's, they can just it, they much. can cook it. the meatball meat. Because it's a paste that they form into oh, a meatball. Oh, and cut it off. Yeah. And no, they just make the paste into a big sub-looking meat. Like a big hamburger. That definitely affects the taste, though. No, yeah. it doesn't. It, 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 if anything, it's more, it's more caramelized. The experience is going through reaction. the meatball. It's fighting the meatball and getting it into yourself. That's that's the entire point of it. You are valid, though. It is. I've So many times have I had it where meatball it's just like... Meatball subs are stupid. I just make sure that when I'm eating a meatball sub that I'm just eating it over something. Right. No, shall we, no, shall no, we talk about the real, the real issue here? Is the fact that... No matter what, when you order a burger at any place that's specialized in their stupid specialty burgers, they make a fucking mountain that's like 20 feet high of just whatever bullshit you're putting on that burger instead of just making a very large hamburger <laughs> patty and then just making a really wide burger filled with all the stuff you want to eat. It is infuriating to have to sit there and think about how I'm going to unhinge my jaw like a goddamn pelican or a snake to Doesn't try and that fit this fucking burger. Actually, have to do with like how you're placing it on the pan. I don't give a like shit it what cooks. it's about. I don't give a fuck. That's what I always. I want it to be as. a massive pizza-sized burger well, the problem, with all the shit I want on it, and it make it easy for me to eat. That's what I want. I mean, I agree a hundred percent. But a stacked also, burger is a failed also, burger. Also, those are those are like those stacked burgers or whatever. If that that place is specialty for that, that's for just all for show. I yeah. know it's for show, and it's infuriating. I because hate, you can I go, hate plating. There's a really great I hate plating. There's a legendary there's a legendary burger spot in LA here called uh, Apple Pan that it's literally just burger cheese, and then they have like a like a remoulade, and that's their specialty burger and. It's right there. Mm. Yeah, and that sounds like the perfect burger because it, you can fit it in your goddamn mouth yeah. with everything in it. Mm. That's the crazy part. But uh, I will say... It's an anime. Um, I'm retired. Here's anime the thing. style, I mean. <laughs> you always say that, man. Stop saying you're I'm retired. retired from anime. I went upstairs. They were watching Jujutsu Kaisen. I turned right back around. <laughs> 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 it's so good, man. I don't know how you can hate Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't hate it. Great. I'm just retired. You're not retired. I'm retired. I'm just saying that to be quirky. No, I'm not quirky. It's some quirky. If anything, it's, it's quirky, quirky to like anime. No, not at this point. Not after I went to Did anime. Did you see Expo. how crowded it was at Anime Expo? Dude, that shit was yeah. impossible. That's why I'm retired. That's crazy. It was crazy to walk around there. I liked anime when it was cool. I did. The worst part is anime is still cool. It's only The fight scenes are only getting better. They're so good now, man. Oh my God, they're so good. 
They're like anybody the can make a good part. fight scene. No, they can't. That's the issue. It's about the story that matters. Dog, the story is awesome and everything, but like a good fight scene can carry an anime, in my opinion, because no, that's like the that, most yeah. ex. That's the most. Fun I'll be threading part. while you guys uh talk about anime. <laughs> <laughs> guys, oh yes, thread. First of all, how long what does it last? That? What is thread? As far as I know, I haven't looked too much into it. I've tried exploring through the different tabs that they have. It's just another Instagram, but instead of photos, it's it's just Twitter. It's text. It's but awesome. What's weird is that, yeah, it has its own For You page because I have not followed a single person on that app. There was an option to follow everyone who I follow on Instagram. I accidentally said no, but now I regret that because I kind of wanted to do that. But now my For You page equivalent is just a bunch of random stuff that has nothing to do with anything that I've searched of. Like I've seen... I, I I never watch basketball. I've seen a bunch of basketball posts. Dude, oh my uh, starts God. getting into basketball. <laughs> it, it might it might cause that. I mean, dude, I'll, you usually... have no idea how much basketball shit I learned because I accidentally clicked one video about Kobe Bryant on on YouTube on YouTube Shorts, and my YouTube Short was just like, oh, you. What do you mean accidentally? What do you mean accidentally? He's the king. I I watched like one video because I wanted to know about uh, something about his career. I don't even remember at this point. And ever since then. For like seven months, it felt like it was nothing but basketball stuff Damn. on my for you page on YouTube, and I was just like, "Dude, I know so much about basketball, and I hate that sport." All right, what's your position if you were to be on a basketball team? Then he wouldn't. I don't. I wouldn't. He wouldn't be five, on a basketball seven, team. Dog. I would. There's one. There's if one. If you were NBA though, player. surely. No, there's come one on. NBA player that was five seven. You never put yourself Spud in that West. position. It's just like if I now that I know so much about the sport, if I were I on a team, this is what I would do. I know about the lore of basketball. Oh, the lore. I know, okay, I, know okay, okay. I know. about like the big players or whatever and like okay. how much there's so much controversy about whether or not LeBron is the GOAT or Michael Jordan's the GOAT or if Kobe's on, on He's there. He's 38! Well. That's all like, I hear. Just that I don't even, like, it's just so much about that. Uh, and I was like, um, MJ was in Looney Tunes, but I guess so was, you know, LeBron. Space LeBron. So, like, at this point, they could both be the GOAT. Like they could just handshake on that, but the thing is, <laughs> uh, Spud Webb was LeBron's five, still going. Well, I yeah, mean, yeah. despite it, despite everybody making their accounts, what it seems like in the past few days, how long do we think the threads is going to last, or is it going to actually take over Twitter? Because there's already a lawsuit being filed. Elon Musk is not happy about threads taking over, saying, "I'm all yeah, for but free Twitter, speech." Twitter did stories, didn't it, for a little bit? Yeah, yeah. There's definitely copying going on throughout all that, but the argument that Elon has presented is that this is straight up copying the app and calling it a different title. Uh, I don't know, but I much like everything else regarding that kind of thing, I'll find I'll make my profile on it just in case it sticks around. I don't think it's. I'm not making the mistake with TikTok again. Tell you that. I mean, you can. Uh, I'm all. I'm all for people because I would love the idea of somebody telling me that Threads isn't going to last. But it, it's just. What does it look like? I don't even know what it looks like. It it looks like a smaller version. I don't <laughs> know if you can zoom in the <laughs> text or anything. Exactly like it. it looks uh, like a smaller it's, it's version Twitter. of Twitter. <laughs> yeah, you can post without, photos you without can... the people talking about crypto on the top. Oh, nice. <laughs> that already makes it better, as far as I'm concerned. Is it a have... website or is it just part of the? It's Instagram? just a new app. Okay. That is the one thing. What that... the fuck is that logo? Oh it's my like an god! Ad sign. That it's is good. terrible. It looks fun. That is terrible. It looks fun. I don't know what that. That is awful. There's no way that is what you're going with. So if that you don't know what awful. Threads is, yeah, it is an it is the new app that is supposedly taking over Twitter that is run by Instagram, and yeah, their logo is an at but a fancy one. It, has... it looks it looks like trash. Yeah, that is a uh, you get your. You I mean, I, I don't. I wouldn't say it looks like trash. It They're, looks terrible. It's a few lines. It's black and white, which means no type of. Uh, it has payment for colors when you're printing out logos and merchandise and all it that. It which doesn't is smart. have any personality to it. I don't look at that and think threads. I That's think the they issue. put it out because they were like, "This is what the people want." They're not going to care about branding. True. They're just like, "Fuck it." Yeah, Elon really, really messed up Twitter. Yeah, that was crazy. That that thing he pulled the other day, where it's like you can only view like 600 posts or whatever if you're not Twitter blue. I broke that. I, I had no idea. I literally woke up at 7 a.m. that morning. I wake up super early, and I'll scroll through my phone for, like, maybe 30 minutes before I make breakfast and shit. I bro- I I, st- I thought Twitter stopped working after two minutes because <laughs> I was just yeah. Sc- scrolling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't realize There's people that were doing speed runs. Like. There's people do- doing speed runs like, okay, the clock starts – and I have to make a new account and then reach the rate limit. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Um, yeah, no, that was that was a very weird time that that lasted as short as it did. Apparently, that was just because they lost their um their contract with Google in terms of how much data they could be storing. Is that what it was? I thought it was to avoid data scrubbing or some shit like that. I, I, I'm kind of vague on it, but I know that they just lost access to a specific part of Google. Mm. But that part was... Um, that was insane. Why 600, though? You take all those accounts into consideration. Well, the thing is, Elon has made rockets that can come back. So maybe you're just not as smart as him to understand it, really. Apparently. You ever think about that? Or not as good as manipulating. Either way, you're not as smart as Elon, are you? This Where's your me? electric car company? Hmm? I haven't found it yet. Exactly. Guess what Elon was doing at your age? That company. PayPal. Or PayPal. Whatever. You know, I don't think yeah, this is a very balding. fair... I don't think this is a very True. fair argument. Dude, I hope I get so rich one day if I start balding, my hair grows back out of respect. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. That'd be nuts. You just pay for it to have to be back. That's All right, name. come on. Let's, hear some, let's hear some estimations. How long do we think threads last? Okay. I'd say uh, I'll give it... What was the last Twitter upsetter that was a thing? Does anyone even remember what that was? Um, God, I, I remember. I remember. Okay, just for the sole reason that I'm... Okay, the only thing that I have to compare it to is Kick. I'm very involved in this streaming community. I know a lot of Twitch streamers and all that. I don't know a lot of famous Twitter users, like people that have personality solely on Twitter. Fork. And therefore, there was no buildup before then. And I don't even know who's running. Like, I don't know any specific personalities or names mm -hmm. that are running threads. Or I know, like, no context humans, like, yeah. that type that of meme shit. meme accounts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. So because of that, because I had no build up to this whatsoever, I don't know any names that are talking about how Threads is going to continue on and what paths they're going to take. Because right now it's just a Twitter copy, what it seems like. I am going to say two months before everybody's just back to, no, I, I, I'm going to rather post on Twitter than here. Everybody. I'm going to say two months. Hmm. I think, uh, and I might be like... And I'm and I'm all for people proving. Me I wrong. think I think Twitter is dying, and I think this will be like another just another social media, like oh, that people like over. use like Instagram. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. I think to completely die off five, five months. So we both think it's going to die off. You think yeah. it's going to legitimately Survive, take yeah. over Twitter? I think it's it's too hard for people to get rid of Twitter, even if Elon makes it so miserable to work with. Instagram Until already has overwhelmingly takes its place because it, it's a, it's just like an Instagram extension and more people a day use Instagram by Instagram's like huge, leaps yeah. and bounds than Twitter. That's fair. That's so true. it's like that's fair. an extension on Instagram probably might. That's literally what it is. It. That's fair. It's literally what it is. That's fair. It could go on if people look at it that way and work with it that way. Sure. But the thing is, if you're on Instagram, are you looking to be on Twitter? That's like the big thing. Well, no, if because they, it's it a different app point. completely. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. If it's not just like a, a side thing that you can swipe to on Instagram, yeah. will you bother going to? I also... That's going to be the real factor. Um, what's it called? I think... Uh, I don't know if he still goes by it, but I remember Zuckerberg, he said that he only puts ads on a new platform after 1 billion users. So oh, that'll be... Billion? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, I've heard that. So... Yeah. Maybe we'll have threads for a while. Be cool, because that's what his big thing is. Like he wants his apps to be cool mm -hmm. before, like they're profitable. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that's fair. If that's the case, you might have you might have a you might have a contender on your hands, because ads suck see. the life out of everything. Yeah, every Twitter. Uh, yeah, every after every two tweets, I it's an ad. Then yep. after, yeah. Yep. Exactly. It's not really that big an issue on Twitter, though. Thankfully, just because hey, you can move past I think but, it makes me just more than like turn off the app. It just makes me miss actual posts. Yeah. Like I'll get confused. I'll be like, oh my God, this huge video hashtag, two lines dedicated to the sentence about the ad. And then I'll just be like, I'll scroll past and then I'll, there might be been a post that I did not see at all. Yeah. Sure. I think, uh, one place that does ads well, I think is YouTube when it comes to their videos or whatever. I think well, they I pay, do it. I pay for I, Well, either way, even if you don't do it, YouTube oh does it correctly i also pay for premium where twitch absolutely screws the pooch on it yeah where you can skip yeah because it's always like either five second ads or you can skip it and you spend 10 seconds looking at two ads or you could find one like i don't know 30 minute ad that you can just hit the skip button on and that's perfect because no one 
is impatient enough to wait for two five second ads, especially knowing that you can click something. It triggers something in my brain where I'm just like, and we're done. And we're, I can just get onto the content. Twitch, the reason people don't go to and look at anything that's new is because of the uh, pre-rolls or whatever that you can't skip. And it's like a minute and a half. I wish you could turn off pre-rolls on your channel and like take the... The thing is you can. You just have to have like, I think the minimum is three minutes of ads playing like a block that you set up. And then for like an hour, there will be no ads whatsoever, no pre-rolls or anything for that hour. But it's still three minutes of ads that you have to put people through. Mm. But like you can plan for it at least. Like when I start up my stream, I'll immediately hit the ad button. So it'll just immediately play the three minutes because I know people will be trickling in. And usually the people that initially come to my stream are people that are either already subbed or something. So they'll, they won't see the ads to begin with. So that's usually like the... And then for the next hour, people that are coming in don't have to deal with any ads. And then I'll be like, okay, uh, it's been an hour... Three minutes of ads. I'll be right back. And I get up to stretch. And that's probably like the best way to do it. But even sometimes it will, it still won't work. Like even when I run it, someone would be like, why am I seeing ads? I'm like, I have no idea. We're still within like 40 minutes time. So there should be no ads whatsoever. It's just massive pain in the ass. Ads suck the life out of everything. Well, them. potentially people could be watching this with ads if they're on YouTube. I'm so sorry. And that's why I love YouTube. Ridge Wallet. <laughs> That being said, one ad that will never get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> one day. One day we'll get them. We'll get there. We'll get but there. Yeah, I am will. a master we'll of segues at this point. Like I said, we're, we're recording a bunch of episodes in advance. Uh, we're very on time right now. Follow the Patreon, which um, I am 110% under the impression that the Patreon should be launched by the time you're listening to this episode. Um, go rate us on Apple Music. Again, if you rate us high, that will give us a lot of help in the future. And just now in general, um, support the podcast and everything. Any last minute things? Uh, no. I think I have a great day. Good. Yeah. Yes. Thank have you for Have a great watching. day. Have a great week. We love you. Thank you for watching, listening. We'll talk to you guys next Thank week. Thank you for all your support. Goodbye, Goodbye everybody. Bye.